G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, what a move Bitcoin's just made. So we can see the chart here. Today, Bitcoin actually hit, I think about $18,400. So yep, there we go, $18,400, nearly $500, and then came crashing way back down to sort of $17,500. So it had a $1,000 swing in such a uh, short time frame. And if we go down to the... 15 minutes you'll actually be able to see uh, there we go so it pumped up and then dropped down very very fast and now it's starting to make its way back up again so I don't like to use these smaller time frames but you know some people do more so the traders uh, and things like that uh, I'm an investor it just makes it easy so yeah we can see we finally break out to the top and it just continues to push up. Now this is on the daily. Now I am somewhat uh, cautious at the moment, so I'll go over to here. And this is what's making me cautious, and it's just cautious. Uh, I, I'm not truly fearful at the moment at all. I'm actually super bullish. But we can see extreme greed is where we are right now. So it is quite possible that there's going to be a pullback sometime soon. But there's no guarantees. Now, again, we go back to Bitcoin. We have a look. Uh, you know, it, it's been going amazing, really, since back here in, what, 17th of October. Uh, it's been doing quite well. Uh, we got out of that sideways range. Let's have a look. What kind of a move have we made since the 17th of October? So in about a month, we've made 65% gains. 65% in a month. There's nowhere else that you could do that. It, it's crypto. Uh, yeah, this is why <laughs> I love cryptocurrencies. But look, you got to be careful because you can lose this much uh, in less than a month, uh, in a lot less than a month as well. So we just need to be mindful that, that it's quite possible that there could be a pullback. I don't see any 40-50% pullbacks uh, sort of happening anytime soon. It's not that they can't and won't happen. I'm quite confident they will happen. I just don't think they're ready to happen yet. I, th I think we're still a little ways off there. And here's a reason why I think we're not going to have any major pullbacks. I don't know how to say this gentleman's name, and I'm going to butcher it, but anyway. Scaramucci's uh, billion-dollar mega hedge fund, Skybridge, may hold positions in Bitcoin. Not may, they've uh, registered with the SEC to invest in cryptocurrencies. Nobody does that unless they're going to. So again, it's still early. This major hedge fund is like, right here, we're gonna get into Bitcoin now. So they're gonna get into it at $17,000, $18,000, because they've seen what's been happening to it, and they know this has still got a long way to go. It's not even at its old all-time high. Now, because of the fear and greed index, I am somewhat concerned and how steep this is getting that we're going to get to 20,000 and we might have a bit of a pullback. Look, it's quite possible, but it's also possible we just push straight through. As I've said before, I really think it's more maybe somewhere between the twenty-five dollars to $35,000 range that I think we're going to see a really big pullback uh, somewhere in that kind of vicinity. And again, it could be a 30 40% pullback. Now, that's not 30 or 40% of the total price of Bitcoin. So it's not going to go to $25,000 and then all of a sudden be worth $12,000 or you know $16,000. That's not what I'm talking about. Just a pullback percentage of its high. Uh, it's a little bit hard to understand, uh, and I can't even really explain that to you, but it's not a pullback of the entire price, just uh, from its all-time high. So yeah, Bitcoin uh, looking pretty nice at the moment, and I think we'll probably get to the 20000 by the weekend, to be honest, and then maybe around the weekend is when we have that kind of pullback. And again, if we go to the sort of 20000 and we just come back down to the 13.8, that's only a 29% pullback. So, I mean, that would still hurt a lot of people. So if we were to go more of 40% pullback, then really we have to come back to about $11,000. I just don't see that happening anytime soon. I think there's still too much uh, enthusiasm in the market and there's too much buying going on in the market. 
I think that will come much later. Again, I think when we get to sort of 25 to 35,000. So that kind of retracement, I just don't see it happening at the moment. There'd have to be catastrophic news uh, for markets all around, not just the crypto markets for that to happen. And so again, you know, we can see what is a 30% uh, retracement from here. And there's no guarantees that hits exactly this. It could be a little bit less, it could be a little bit more. So again, a 30% retracement, there we go. That only brings us down to 13,500 from sort of 20,000. Don't get me wrong, that would hurt, would scare a lot of people. This is possible. Again, I'd say more so really down to about this. You know, 29% is really sort of 30%. So totally possible that we have that kind of pullback. I'm just not sure. I think it's still too early for something like that to happen. And again, based on this, these guys are still just getting ready to get in and there's plenty more institutions to come. You know, this uh, Skybridge will probably be considered one of the early adopters, even though it's you're not, you know, it's not digity, Digital Galaxy, it's not Pantera, it's not MicroStrategy, it's not Square, Cash App and all the rest of it. They will still probably be considered one of the early adopters because that's how early it is still in the piece. But just because it's early doesn't mean we can't have any major pullbacks. I just don't think it's coming yet. All right, so here we go. Why Bitcoin price just flash crashed 6% after rejecting at 18.5? Bitcoin sharply dropped after nearing 18,500 on Binance and Coinbase, but top analysts predict uh, institutional investors will buy the dip. And that's exactly what I think, spot on. And that story is exactly it. I mean, you know, they've just filed that they want to buy Bitcoin. That may have already been signed off, I don't know. But they're going to buy. Regardless of what the price is, they're going to buy because they still believe it's early. Again, it's not even at old all-time highs. Once it gets to that old all-time high, it's going to go higher again. How much higher though? Well, that's the million dollar question and maybe a million dollars is the answer. Who knows? So completely agree. I think there's going to be pullbacks. Absolutely. And there was again. We went from 18,500 right back down to 17,000, sort of 400. It's a thousand dollar swing in a matter of sort of minutes. But we're already starting to make our way back up. Here you go. 18,100. So Bitcoin is going back up. We pumped up and then we fell down. But look, just beware, that's all I'm saying. Now, institutions help drive rally as Bitcoin ETP volume surged 50%. I think a lot of the uh, market manipulation that we'll sort of see at the moment, and that's what I think it will be, uh, will come later when people are happy that they've made really good profits and again, more you know, maybe the twenty-five, thirty-five thousand dollar range. Again, let's say uh, Skybridge gets into Bitcoin at twenty thousand, uh, and it gets to around thirty thousand. They're going to have bought, you know, thousands of dollars of uh, thousands of coins. They won't just buy like ten or fifteen bitcoins. They'll buy thousands of them. So, you know, fifteen thousand dollars times thousands. That's a lot of money. Again, the, uh, sorry, yeah. They buy at twenty thousand and then start to you know sell some at thirty five thousand. They've made fifteen thousand dollars per coin, and then again you know you times that by however many thousands that they bought. There's a lot of money. It goes into the millions of dollars, and they're not going to sell all of it. They're just going to start to play the market. They know how to do this better than anyone. That's why they're a hedge fund and they have billions of dollars uh, under asset management. So we go back over here. Recent research has revealed that institutional grade exchange traded products surged in volume this month. A report by Crypto uh, Compare, Compare delves into some metrics behind Bitcoin's epic bull run to a new 2020 high of 17,800 and reveals that institutions have been a driver of momentum. That's so true. Uh, retail hasn't even got there, even though I guess you could uh, consider most of us sort of retail. Not the real retail. The real retail is, it's going to come from things like Cash Square app. It's going to come from things like PayPal and then the banks when they start to offer custody of it and all the rest of it. You know, real retail is just the everyday average Joe sort of, you know, person who's not even using it. They're way off getting in there. You know, major mainstream news. They're not even reporting it at the moment. I haven't seen anything on the news about, you know, Bitcoin uh, is about to break all time highs. And if it is, it's a tiniest little mention, a tiny little article somewhere that you hardly even hear about. Only a real crypto enthusiast or someone who's really into finances 
would be able to find that information at the moment. It's not just uh, regularly out there. So just watch this space once, you know, PayPal really ramps up. Again, they brought it out early because they saw the money that was being made. So it's all US customers at the moment can buy uh, and sell crypto on PayPal. That's not their worldwide audience. You know, don't get me wrong. The United States is a big audience for PayPal, but the worldwide audience to PayPal and cryptocurrencies is going to push the price is unbelievably high. And again, that doesn't start till next year where it goes worldwide. All right, last but not least, let's go over here, 505 billion. Look, we were at 800 and something billion in late 2017, so we're still not even close to that. And we're only halfway to that trillion dollar mark. You know, people are worried about, you know, is it too late to get in? No. In my personal opinion, it is not too late to get in. You're still going to be early. You just have to accept that you might buy some Bitcoin today for 17,800. Sorry, I'll have to update this because it's actually 18,100. So you might buy some Bitcoin today at 18,000, excuse me, and it might be 14, 13,000 dollars tomorrow. But you've just got to understand the markets, you just got to hold, you just got to relax. Uh, and you know, six months time, It'll just be a tiny little thing where you'll go, oh, I remember when I bought Bitcoin for 18,000 and dropped back down to 14,000. You know, I panicked, but I didn't sell, I held, and now again, you're in profit. And again, not financial advice, just personal opinion uh, from being in the markets for so long. But look at that, that is, it's a parabolic type move. So we just need to be cautious. It's not to say that this can't keep running because this is Bitcoin and this is the first time we've had you know, institutional money really get in. We've had a bit of institutional money, again, Grayscale and Pantera and, you know, things like that, Pantera Capital. There has been some institutional money in it, but not the big money. That is now starting to come. With 2 million Bitcoins available uh, on exchanges and 2 million Bitcoins still to be mined. So there's only really 4 million Bitcoin that are available for the next sort of, you know, 140 years, because I think it's 2140. Uh, 2142 I think is when Bitcoin uh, mines its last coin so there's only 4 million Bitcoin to be uh, that it's basically available and they're already being bought up very quickly so that 2 million worth of Bitcoin on exchanges is quickly uh, diminishing even though don't get me wrong the the miners are selling plenty of Bitcoin don't you worry at this price is they'd be stoked but same time I'd say they're probably holding some back waiting for even higher prices all right, this is troubling though. Gas prices are going up. Uh, you know, 50 is definitely not great. Nowhere near as bad as the 200 and something that we saw. But Bitcoin, it finally did it. So as soon as Bitcoin went up to 18,000 and then dropped down, there was a massive sell-off of uh, altcoins. So I think people were going, oh my God, Bitcoin's getting ready to pump. So what they've done is they've panic sold. Well, maybe not so much panic sold, but anyway, they've sold uh, their altcoins or their profits in altcoins and they've pushed it into Bitcoin, hence why it's pushed it back up. But that's a really dangerous move because it's all good to put your profits into Bitcoin. But again, with this, what happens if we do see a 20, 30% retracement? Those profits that you just made will get annihilated very, very quickly. So yeah, buyer beware is all I say. Not that I think Bitcoin's going to dump anytime soon, but it's absolutely possible that it could. And that's what you need to have in your mindset at all times is look, I think it's going to do this, but what happens if it doesn't? Where am I going to be? Am I positioned correctly? Do I have, you know, the steel in my nerves to be able to, you know, hold through, you know, a 30, 40% correction? If you don't, then you're probably going to lose money. And that's what a lot of sort of traders do. And I put out a tweet before, you know, thousand dollar swings. That's why we're all here. But trading is really, really hard. I couldn't have traded that uh, swing. It all happened too quickly. Uh, and it's already started to pump back up anyway. But investing, all I do is just, you know, when my money comes in, I buy and I simply hold. And I'm holding for, again, late next year, maybe even 2022 is when I'm really sort of looking to sell the bulk of what I'm happy to sell. That's that's my plan. All right, let's have a look. 24 hours. Bitcoin diamond. <laughs> there we go. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, 
I don't own any Bitcoin Diamond. I don't plan on buying any, but good on them. Bitcoin Gold, really anything Bitcoin's probably done pretty well. Yearn Finance is really starting to come back. Again, it was not that long ago. This was $9,000, $9,800. So it's, yeah, it's done extremely well. Uh, what else have we got? Decred, Status, uh, Aave Link and things like that so not too bad even chain link starting to make some moves and start starting to gradually make its way back up so really good celsius network you know there was a bit of uh sort of a fud i guess around uh celsius network not that long ago and their systems uh didn't crash allegedly they were getting updated and all the rest of it but good to see that it's still doing well synthetics network continues to go up so i'm happy with that uh, Aave itself, Ethereum Classic, uh, interesting considering the 51% attacks. So, some good moves. What about losses? Has anything really lost in the last 24 hours? Sushi. <laughs> well, fair enough. Again, it pumped 77% over uh, a week. So, of course, it was going to pull back. Block stack, that's uh, troubling. But anyway, what can you do? It's still up 3% over seven days. Uma Compound. Uh, Hedera Hashgraph, Kyber Network, still up 4% uh, over the seven days, but down 5.8% in the last 24 hours. Loopring, so, I mean, again, not too bad. Really only kind of these two. Uh, they hurt a little bit when you get the double-digit retracements, but single-digit retracements, that's not too bad. And again, there's really only a few that are over uh, 5%, and then everything's, other, you know, 4%, 3%, 2%, 1%. 1%. That kind of stuff doesn't hurt. XRP, of course, that was going to pull back 29 cents, made it to 30 cents. And look, I wouldn't be surprised if this comes back down to sort of 27, 28 cents, but we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully it continues to go up at some stage. I'm sure it's going to have its pump. All right, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. Let me know what you think. Are we going to have a retracement soon? Do you think it's going to come before 20,000? Like a reasonable one. Let's say... 25% plus retracement. Do you see that happening before 20,000 or do you see it happening after 20,000? And if it's after 20,000, roughly whereabouts? Are you thinking 25,000? Are you thinking 30,000, 35,000? Where are you thinking that we're going to have a pullback? Again, my sort of rough estimate, and that's all it is, it's just a rough estimate, is I think somewhere between 25 to $35,000 per Bitcoin is when we'll start to see some sort of heavy retracements again you know the 20 maybe 30 40 percent retracements until then yeah i think it's still too early and there's just there's more institutions and everything getting in the the really big retracements will come once institutions have made their money uh and retail fomos in unfortunately they're the ones that really get hammered and scammed the most they get in late they hear about what bitcoin was three thousand dollars and it's now you know Forty-six thousand dollars, and so they just jump in, and they think, and they hear the stories. It's going to a hundred thousand, and they don't understand that it might take a while to get to a hundred thousand. So they jump in at forty-two thousand, and you know, throw too much into it, not understanding cycles and how it works, and then all of a sudden, Bitcoin goes from forty-two thousand dollars, you know, down to thirty-four thousand dollars, and they panic, and they you know, then sell and think this is a scam and so lose money and then they watch Bitcoin eventually track up again and unfortunately they might get caught out a second time as well. Do the same thing, go, oh Jesus and jump in and they've lost money and now they buy in once it's $54,000 or $60,000 and then it retraces back to again, you know, $10,000 less or something like that and they panic sell again and so they've just continually lost money. That is the unfortunate side uh, of markets in general is you know the smart money you know they just get in and really sort of stay in they find a good price to get in and then they simply hold they'll dibble dabble with a little bit of it you know what i mean trading and leveraging and all the rest of it but the bulk of what they put in uh they just generally it's long-term holds uh, and that's where the money is made i like a saying that i heard lark say before and it's not his saying i don't think it's a saying that's been around for a while but time in the markets so you know you put in enough time in the markets years is better than trying to time the market so trying to time exactly when it's low and now i've got to get in and oh here's the absolute all-time highest so and now's the time to try and sell no one can do that absolutely no one can no one's able to pick that stuff so it's easier to just spend time in the market 
you know, do your research, decide what's good, what you like, whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, whatever you like. As long as you th you have done your research and you're not just trusting what somebody else says, buy and just hold. Spend time in the market with that stock, you know, or, you know, cryptocurrency or whatever it is, uh, you know, commodity that you're in. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's good, at some stage, it's going to go up. All markets go up. They just have periods where they come back down. But overall, the world keeps getting bigger. We keep paying more for everything. So everything just gets bigger and bigger. That's just the way it goes. That's the cycle it's been in. Uh, and it's been in that kind of way for a really long time. All right, I'm taking up a bit of time here. I got to get and do some things myself. So stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hit that like and subscribe button down below. Hopefully you're on that game train. And I'll see you next time.